Welcome, everyone, to part number 20, and the official final part of both the genocide route and the entire game Let's Play itself. 20 parts. I just decided that this will be the official final part, and yes, I know it's going to be a ton of editing for me to do, but this is something I wanted to show you at the last part, that not a lot of people that I watched when they did Undertale have. I mean, there's something that they did at the end, at the end but they're not sure what it was, so I'm going to show you what it is. Anyways, get ready for the most anticipating battle of your life, <coughs> which is Sans. <laughs> hey, yeah. <coughs> You've been busy, huh? <coughs> so, I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try? Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Cause if you take another step forward, you're really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry old lady. This is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, just like you, should be burning in hell. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, that's the first attack given by Sans. <laughs> huh? Always wonder why people never use the strongest attack first. You feel like you're going to have a bad time. It's time we fight Sans. What? He dodged? What? You're just gonna stand there and take it? Yep. And he attacks with bones stronger than Papyrus. This is why we never fight Sans. He's too tough. You fit the Sans crawling on your back. <laughs> I will force you to match up another one of your plans based continuing. Time is jumping up the right. Stop me starting. Oh god, he's text. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, come on, he's not gonna get a hit. <laughs> Until suddenly, everything ends. Yeah, people call this the toughest battle ever in Undertale. So, this is part of the reason and his attacks are very, you know, coming at you. <laughs> That's your fault, isn't it? I guess it is. It's great that we have platforms here. He's not gonna take a hit, so yeah. You can't understand how this feels. Okay. I'm actually very good at this battle. I would say Undyne they are dying is tougher, but since I took a lot of fight to this. Knowing that one day, without any warning, it's not going to be reset. I can pretty much get through this in one try, but I haven't done this in a long time, so it's gonna be kinda of more times, but let's just hope it's one time. <laughs> Look, I gave my trying to go back a long time ago. The danger the surface doesn't really appear anymore, either. Oh god, death blasts us. I'm just gonna hit him, hoping he gets a hit. Cause even if we do, we'll just end up right back here without any memory of it. Memory of it, right? Oh, now this is tough, bro. No, no, come on. Let's just hope I survive here. <laughs> to be blunt, it makes it kind of hard to give it my all. Uh, let's just eat this, not peace first. Fight my HP. Unusual attacks. Oh, come on. Or is that, or is that just a poor excuse of being lazy? <laughs> Hell, I know. Yeah, the most annoying thing that happens to this is that his dive 
he would say his dying walk only if you attack him. So maybe he can or act. What's the second click? I didn't check him at the beginning. Attack one, defense one, the easiest enemy. You can only do one damage. Can't keep dodging forever, keep attacking. Of course. They call the easiest enemy because you'll see why. All I know is, see what comes next, I can't afford not to kill anymore. And this song is so amazing. Uh, that being said, you, uh, really like swinging that thing around, huh? Listen, I know you didn't answer me before, but somewhere in there, I can feel it. There's a glimmer of a good person inside of you. The memory of someone who was wanting to do the right thing. Someone who, in another time, might have even been a friend. Come on, buddy. Do you remember me? Please, if you're listening, let's forget all this, okay? Just wait on your weapon and, well, my job will be a lot easier. Since it's bailing you. First, let's gotta. Ah. Zambago. Let's see, Huey. Yes, that's enough. But guess what? Whoop, it was worth a shot. Guess if I do it the hard way, huh? Guess what happens next? This. Oh. Missed my timing there. This bone will appear. Try to decrease the HP and stuff. <laughs> Sounds strange, but before all this, I was secretly hoping we could be friends. I always thought the Minami was doing this because they were unhappy. Then when they got what they wanted, they would stop all of this. More gas blasters! Come back here! Oh, come on! Let's like come back! Twice! The weird battle finally begins! <laughs> and maybe all they needed was, I don't know, some good food, some bad laps, some nice friends. Oh god, no! Ugh. Whoa, okay. More of these bones will attack us. <laughs> but that's ridiculous, right? Yeah, you're the type of person who won't ever be happy. I've got five desert on fail. You'll keep consuming timelines over and over until, well, <laughs> hey, take it from me, kid. Someday, you gotta learn when to quit. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Gotta get my tiny light. Alright. <laughs> but that day is today. Wait, this doesn't seem like the best idea. I think it's an idea, but I can only do the whole thing. Cause, you see, all this fun is really tiring me out. That's the part of my fail. This is starting to look really tired. Oh, come on. And if you keep pushing me, then I'm forced to use my special attack. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. Oh. What can I eat? What can I eat? It's the noodles. They better dry. Yes. No. No. Oh, come on. I wasn't ready. This is preparing something. <laughs> yeah, my special attack. Sound familiar? Well, get ready, because after the next move, I'm going to use it. So, if you don't want to see it, now would be a good time to die. Ah. Get ready. The special attack will be used. Ah. Since this game will use a special attack. Alright, no man, please. There we go. It's just maxed out, but... More of this! I gotta have good enough HP in order to prepare for his attack. Alright. I guess this is his special attack. Well, it was nothing. <laughs> Are you ready? Spike this, and I'll show you my special attack.
Oh. All right, this is a tough part. Oh no, no, no. Up and down keys are too confusing. I have both my fingers on there, my middle finger. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Come on. Here for this last one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> to think after all this time that. Oh. That. It's been a long time since I've done a single spell like this. I thought I wasn't going to make it, but I did. Phew. Okay. <sighs> Even Sans decided to. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> That's it. It's time for my special attack. Are you ready? He goes nothing. Um, the special attack? <laughs> yep, that's right. It's literally nothing. It's not gonna be anything either. <laughs> you get it? I know I can beat you. One of your turns, you're just gonna kill me. So, uh, I've decided it's not gonna be your turn ever. I'm just gonna keep having my turn until you give up. <laughs> Even if it means you have to stay here until the end of time. Capish? You can hear me breathing to catch my breath. <laughs> you get bored here. If you haven't gotten bored already, I mean. <laughs> and then you finally quit. <laughs> I know your type. You're, uh, very determined, aren't you? You never give up, even if there's, uh, absolutely no benefit to persevering whatsoever. If I can make that clear, no matter what, you just keep going, not out of any desire for good or evil, but just because you think you can, and because you can, you have to. But now, you've reached the end. There is nothing left for you now. So, uh, in my personal opinion, the most determined thing you can do here is to, uh, completely give up and uh, do literally anything else. Hold on, there's a, gonna be a moment where we will kill Sans. But you better take a look at Sans real quick. He is very tired, I mean, look at that. That's right. You don't see that from a skeleton, but... I feel he's magic. I mean, like, he is living, though. So, yeah. His eyes are closing. He's gonna go to sleep. Isn't it? Let's just see... Oh yeah, Z. He is sleeping, but look at this. We can move the battle box. <laughs> we can move it. But only in this direction though. Only left. And um We're gonna go down now. Yeah. Until we press the fight button with the Z. Look at this. <laughs> Did you really think you would be able Oh one head again but now the sands wow <laughs> So just as it huh just don't say I didn't warn you Whoop I'm going to grab this That just happened. Wow. Okay. Can't believe that just happened. Papyrus, do you want anything? Is he dead? Oh. Oh. He's dead. We're level 20 now. The highest level ever. I cannot believe we're actually dead. 
to think this all the time. This will get us to the genocide without ending. But first, let's make a save point real quick, so... We don't get lost. So we don't have to do this again. There's something I also want to show you that, um... Yeah. If you go down the basement, go to the wet soul coffin, this would say... It's as comfortable as it looks. Yeah. This is something very random. And to think... I didn't think we'd be able to eat since on first try, but I really gotta try. <laughs> that was crazy, and now... We're gonna leave, and... Asko is up ahead. So I'm still trying to put... Still trying to find a perfect voice for Asko, so don't judge me, please. Curious. I've never seen a plant cry before. Huh? You must be the one that flower just warned me about. Howdy. Um, what kind of monster are you? Sorry, I cannot tell. Well, we can always... Now, now. There's no need to fight. Why not settle this over a nice cup of tea? Oh. No. Again? Why? You. Of course, Flowey's bullets or friendliness powers would cause what end of his misery. Yep. See? I never betrayed you. It was our trick, see? I was running down for you. After all, it's me, your best friend. I'm helpful. I can be useful to you. I promise I won't get in your way. I can help. I can. I can. Uh, please don't kill me. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, this has happened. Oh. Do we leave? Huh, another human. Who is this? Greetings. I am Kala. Oh no, the true Kala. Oh man. Thank you. Your power awakens me from death. My human soul, my determination, they were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confused. Our plan had failed. Hand it. Why was I brought back to life? You, with your guidance. I realize the purpose of my reincarnation. Power. Together, we eradicated the enemy and became strong. Hit points, attack, defense, gold, execution points, level of violence, otherwise known as HP, XP, and love. Every time a number increases, that feeling that's me, Kawa. Now, now we have reached the absolute. There was nothing left for us here. Let us erase this pointless word and move on to the next. Like the voice acting for Kawa? Let's try to keep it demony, cause with this eerie music. They sound deepening. Erase the word? Heck no. Do not. No? Hmm. How curious. You must have misunderstood. Since when were you the one in control? Oh! 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 oh. Oh, okay. This has happened. So, the game crashed. 
Huh, hang on, let me re relaunch it. Let's see what happens. Huh, a, a black screen. Well, well, on OBS it's actually, it's still black. Between when I launched the game, you know, you know, and when the game crashed, you know. So all of a sudden, Carla just did a jump scale towards you guys. I'm not afraid of that anymore, but, you know, it, it really, it, it did jump me the first time I saw this. Um, apparently, we see this black screen, and according to what the game says, someone else, or it could be that same demon child Carla, is gonna appear about 10 minutes after you relaunch the game. And I find it ridiculous waiting to that I have to wait 10 minutes. But there's something after this that they talk about that I want to show you. Again, it's still a spoiler, but I'm not trying to give out spoilers to the game, just trying to give you guys hints on what to expect. And anyway, so yeah, we have to wait about 10 minutes until they appear. So, it's about a minute past. Let us, um... Um... Do a jump cut to the point where they appear again. Alright. Jump cut. Oh, Texas appeared again. Interesting. You want to go back. You want to go back to the world you destroyed. It was you who pushed everything to its edge. It was you who has a word to its destruction. But you cannot accept it. You think you are above consequences. Yes or no? Well, no, actually. Then what are you looking for? I'll give it. That is agreed. You will give me your soul. Oh. This is a part. This is a thing we have to give Kala. Okay, I guess so. Then, it is done. All of a sudden, the game cries again. Well. And this thing I want to show you. How about we jump ahead to this part that I will show you, it's because it's gonna take a long hassle for me to do so. How about we just jump ahead though? Jump cut? Alright, the jump cut has been made, so we go back to the scene where Toyo, right here, we're on the surface and Toyo um, puts down a, sh a plate of a slice of a busker cinnamon pie. Yeah, there's Frisk right there, in their bed. Okay. Things go no more, but when suddenly the screen doesn't go black. Look. Oh, yeah. Yes, that was a menacing smile. And to top it all off, right here. Yep, this music plays a very, very slow version of anticipation that makes it sound so deadly. And also sounds like that Carl is trying is killing the monsters with this. Yeah. This is what happens when you give your soul to Kawa. And this only occurs in the true passes ending credits, the post credits scene. This also happens that, um, to that poster where if you chose that you have some place else to go, there will be a picture of Fresk right next to the monsters. Instead, if you give, their so if you give your soul to Kala, it will be a place of Kala instead, and it will have the monster's head crossed out. This is so deadly. Anyways, I'm just gonna exit the game real quick, because I don't want you guys to suffer through this anymore. Oh, everyone, so I, I hope you love 
the game of Undertale that I decided to um, make for you guys. It's been a time where um, I wanted to record this first time, but I decided not to. And now, here we are. The first anniversary of Undertale, and it's celebrated by me, and many others, but by me, I decided to do a Let's Play event. And yes, this is very exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, and um, this is a quick thanks to um, my biggest... My the YouTube channel that I greatly support though. I like to thank um Studio Catbird, Ultima Almighty, Camille Cueva, Starbuck Dubs, Walking Mountain Triple A, C Dog VA, Hogo, and Senior Pello. They all have made great Undertale content. And um I really watch I really like to watch your content because it really gives out more and it's just very amazing. And um Yeah, I like to thank all of them for the support. Well, like, they didn't help me out in any way, but still, I... They become a huge inspiration to me to create this, and, um... Well, you'll get to see a tweet. You will see a tweet by the time this is released. By me. And I'm tweeting at all those channels, all those Twitter accounts. Thanking them for all of the great content that they have provided for us. And I'd like to thank them all for um, making what has made our days very special with what the great content has, they have just given us. No matter if it's a, <laughs> like a prank video or it's just normal content, I still greatly we appreciate what they've done for us. And I'd like to thank you guys too for supporting me throughout you know, like this year. Alright guys, Undertale is finally over. We are going to go back to, I guess, the game that we have um like a hiatus on because of Undertale. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a very good night and thank you all for supporting me in making Undertale Let's Play possible. Thank you all for watching.